Hey there, uh, my name is Gabe Belanger from Computer Geeks on Call, and I wanted to talk to you about uh, getting free Microsoft 365, um, as well as many more products if you're a nonprofit. So this would apply if you're a nonprofit starting up or if you're a nonprofit already paying for things and you'd like to switch. So not only will I give you a big a big list of it, but I'd like uh, different products, but I'd like to talk to you about you know how to transition a little bit and I, I want to go over some details about Microsoft 365. Uh, when I first set this up for a client a, a while back, I was really surprised to see it wasn't that difficult um, and the, the benefit they got was great. I thought it was great for this organization. So let's go to the first part of my presentation. Yes, if you're a nonprofit, you can get Microsoft 365 free and many more in Canada. So here it is. Here is what we have. If you want to look a little closer here at the left, we see you can get up to 300 uh, users um, free as long as they're using Microsoft 365 Business Basic. So 300 users. Now, Microsoft Business Basic um, has the web and mobile version of Microsoft 365 apps. It, it doesn't have the desktop software. Um, it, it has one terabyte of uh, cloud storage. Um, and if you look in the middle, then we can see Microsoft 365 Business Standard. It gives you the same thing as Microsoft Business Basic. Um, and it also gives you, uh, you know, the desktop version of Microsoft 365 apps with premium features. And I kind of failed to, to mention that, you know, you're getting with business um, basic, you're getting the email and uh, it looks like in the, the bottom part, you're getting teams as well. So business basic is a lot up to 300 users free. And then for business standard, you're getting the desktop software version and a few other minor things. So uh, they didn't list how many are free here. And I kind of took the price out because this, this is Microsoft's direct price if you work direct with them. And I know uh, a lot of people don't do that. Um, the other one here on the right is Microsoft 365 Business Premium. Um, and that's the one that I set up the first time I did this. And that is for up to 10 users. They get Microsoft 365 Business Premium. So Business Premium gives you, you know, the email, Teams, everything in Microsoft 365 Business Standard, the desktop software, plus advanced security, uh, cyber threat protection, and you can see the apps down there below, and it also includes Intune, which allows you to manage, um, you know, devices like mobile devices. So it's quite impressive. They're giving you the 10 licenses for free, and then after that, they're giving you additional licenses. I don't have the Microsoft Direct price here, but it's something like uh, $5, $6, something like that per month. So this is really what you get from Microsoft. Now, if you don't are paying for Microsoft right now, you probably know you're paying for Microsoft. So I'd really look into getting this um, switched over as soon as possible. So how do you switch it over? So let's talk about that next here. So how do you how do you get Microsoft 365 for free? Well, what do I do if I've already had it paid, right? So actually sorry let me skip back <laughs> missed that so how do you get microsoft 365 free well what you have to do is register uh, as a nonprofit with an organization called TechSoup, and then you need to tell your microsoft 365 um, account your tenant that you're registered as a nonprofit with TechSoup. and once that's done then you can actually add the products to make sure that you're getting the nonprofit pricing or in the case of uh, the, the option that's recommended there, the business uh, premium that you're getting the, the licenses for free, and then you just add the licenses. So, okay, you say, fine, I have to register with TechSoup, link it to my Microsoft 365 tenant, and then just add the products. But well, how's it gonna affect my current uh, users, right? Oop, I'm skipping ahead there. So, what do I do if I already have paid Microsoft 365 and how's it going to affect my current users? So I'm going to read this out uh, so I don't uh, mess it up because there's a quite a few details. But basically, we need to get the, the current products that you have and we need to line them up with the free products. And they have to be the free products have to be equal or better than the paid products right now. So 
move over your identical licenses from your paid to nonprofit or move to the higher nonprofit level. So if you have a business basic that you're paying for, you can move it over to business basic nonprofit. If you have business basic that you're paying for, you can move it over to Microsoft 365 business standard, which is a higher level, the nonprofit license. So that's easy. So make sure it's the same license or the free license, the nonprofit license is better than what you currently have. Once you've done that, you can cancel your subscriptions of the paid licenses that you've successfully moved, but wait, what impact will this have on my people? Well, none, good job, Microsoft. <laughs> this is what I was thinking when I made this transition the first time, is that you, it's so nice to just be able to move people over to these uh, nonprofit licenses without impacting them at all. And you can do that. You just move them over, seamless, no change to the impact, uh, no change or impact to the, the person using the license. It just keeps working. And this, this is the case with all their licensing with Microsoft 365, which is quite amazing. But what's really nice about the nonprofit is that, you know, it's, it's nobody even knows it happens. And boom, now you're getting uh, either the products for free or you're getting a really good discount. So that's, that's a little bit of what I wanted to cover there. So you've got Microsoft 365 for free. So what are some other notables that we can, uh, we can deal with? Well, we can get a whole bunch of things and I'm going to get to that later. I'm going to go through a whole long list of the cloud products that you can get for free. Um, and some of them are really discounted. And just from my own experience, I'm really, when I say these nonprofits are discounted, the discount is very good in the ones that I've looked at and set up. So you're getting, you're getting like, it's worth your time. I know a few of them are maybe not as, as impressive, but a lot of them are really giving you a good deal. So that's nice to know. Um, <laughs> so other notables would be the Google Workspace. So that's the same thing as Microsoft 365 and that product is free. So wow, you're going to get Google uh, Workspace for free. If, if you're already on Google Workspace, I'm sure the process is almost not, I'm not gonna say identical, but very similar. And also after that, I wanna take a look at uh, TechSoup. So let's just go right here and we can see that we have uh, Google for nonprofits. Hopefully you can read that okay. And with this Google for nonprofits, let's just scroll around here a little bit. So you can see the website here, google.com slash nonprofits. So what is it actually giving us? Well, here we go. Be more collaborative, productive, and efficient with Google Workspace for nonprofits. So there we go. This is what we get. And um, Later on, I'll, get, I'll give it a little more detail, but Google Workspace for Nonprofits, um, I believe this product is totally free. If I'm not mistaken, I'm just gonna look at my cheat sheet here, just so I can quickly say, I'm pretty sure it is, or I wouldn't have brought it up first. Yeah, so Google for Nonprofits, so this is totally free, so it's like Microsoft. There's probably going to be some limitations, but I haven't gone that far. So if you want to get Google Workspace for nonprofits, you just learn more. But generally speaking, the process is the same thing. Uh, you have to, um, you know, register that you're a nonprofit organization and link it to your Google uh, tenant and then just start moving the licenses over. Um, so that's great. That is a big savings and you get so much value out of these platform products like Microsoft 365 and uh, Google uh, as well. Not only do you get the backup, but you get the email, you get collaboration. It's, it's an amazing tool. As, uh, you should have someone set it up and really uh, get your team going if you haven't already done that. So that's Google Workspace. But the cool thing about Google I wanted to share is that there's a few more things. So we can go down and reach more donors online with Google Ad Grants. So you can attract donors and raise awareness for your organization and recruit volunteers with in-kind advertising on Google search. So that's pretty cool. Google ad grants, engage with your supporters with video. So we got the YouTube nonprofit program, goes over a little bit, unlock the power of video storytelling so you can reach a global audience. So that's cool. So of course we can just uh, learn more. So why don't I just click that, engage with your supporters, nonprofit, this one, I don't actually know how it works at all. 
tap into Google's global audience. You'll get access to features especially useful for nonprofits. Link Anywhere cards, giving features, Creator Academy. So there we go. So here's a little bit more about them. So let's go back and see what else we have with Google already. That's uh, more than I knew, and I, it's pretty it's pretty impressive the way that these big companies get behind the nonprofit. And then show your nonprofit's impact, Google Earth and Maps, develop compelling data visualizations to track and share your organization impact. Okay. Steps to get Google products. So confirm that you meet the eligibility requirements. I'll just quickly uh, click there, see what they have. Who's eligible? Must be a nonprofit, good standing, meet the eligibility requirements in your country. Please note some types of organizations are not eligible. So generally speaking, it looks like it's pretty basic, so that's good. And then from here, request a Google nonprofits account. Once your nonprofit is verified, we'll let you know by email. Then you can activate and use the individual products. So that's it. That's what we have for Google. I must say uh, that's pretty generous. And uh, that's the beauty of uh, the video today is that I wanted to just let people know that there is a lot out there. If you're starting a nonprofit or thinking of starting a nonprofit or you're already paying for products, well, there's a lot that you can maybe get converted to the nonprofit pricing, which might be free in the case of Microsoft 365 and Google uh, Workspace, but uh, some are also discounted. A lot of them are good discounts too, from what I know. So the other one I kind of wanted to look at real quick here is TechSoup. So TechSoup, you need to register with TechSoup in order to get um, you know, the Microsoft 365 for free. So this is something I did the first time I set up one of my, my first client. Um, so let's look at TechSoup in general. So TechSoup, you can see the, the URL here, uh, techsoup.ca, that's the one in Canada, of course. So donations and discounts for nonprofits, incredible offers for nonprofits, browse the catalog, and it just shows you some of the things uh, that you can get through this TechSoup. Most popular products. So you can see a whole bunch of different things. Now, it's not really telling you the price, um, but let's see if we can get a little bit better information by browsing the catalog. I know when I was looking at this before, um, there was training as well. So we can see right here, aha, Adobe Acrobat Pro 2020 for Windows. The admin fee is $99. Uh, we see Zoom there, $26 plus subscription. So they're, they're even showing the prices. So this is pretty amazing resource. Uh, TechSoup.ca slash product dash catalog. Okay, so that's one thing I wanted to do is just let you know about TechSoup. But if, of course, you need to work with these guys in order to get the Microsoft. Uh, 365 so that's uh, a good part of it so uh, it's good to know so let's go to their support and faqs briefly here so getting started what is a technology donation program there's a little video there how can my organization get started aha Register your organization. It needs to be a Canadian ch charity, federal government nonprofit, or public library. So if you own a public library, then you'll, this will apply. <laughs> so register, submit qualification documents, and then request products. Not sure where to start, and then it just lists out some products. So that's the cool part um, you know, of TechSoup is that it just has these products directly through them. But you do need to work with them, as I keep saying, to get the Microsoft 365 products for free. You gotta be with TechSoup, register. I guess they're accrediting them like, yes, you are a nonprofit. Microsoft tenant, once it sees that, their products are free. And TechSoup can do uh, so much more, as you can see here. So I wanted to go through some other cloud products and um, just kind of let you know beyond uh, Google and TechSoup. So here are some other products. Um, I, I made a list here that we can go through. And it's quite a, a long list, which uh, hopefully is helpful to you. 
So I kind of just whipped through some of these and I'm going to provide this information um, in the comments or in my live description so you can see it later as well as the links that we looked at here on, on the video. So uh, Google for nonprofits, we see that, Microsoft for nonprofits. So this is the, the infrastructure. It's got the email, the storage, the backup and all that. TechSoup Canada, access to a wide range of software at discounted prices. So then we can also see Adobe, it's got a significant discount and for Creative Cloud, uh, when they say significant, I'm sure it's a, it's a good discount. You can see I have the link here, it might be hard to read, but that's for Adobe. Um, I'll put that, as I say, in the description of the video or in the comment of this video so you can see it. Um, then we have salesforce.org, and that's a CRM solution that's discounted. Um, and then we have others. I'll, I'll just kind of pick out a few. Monday.com, uh, which is a great product. It's discounted. That That's a way for you to kind of get much more pro uh, productivity. It says project management, but it's much more than that. And if we go on to our next one, you can see I highlighted some of them in red. Um, so box.org, free 10 gigs of storage and file sharing. Then we see Cisco Meraki. Now they're a little different. Uh, they're the third one down and they do discounts on network hardware like routers and switches, uh, which is kind of great because it's hardware. It's a real thing as opposed to maybe a cloud service. We have see Dropbox. Um, and then Hootsuite, so that's discounted for um, social media. And then we have the email marketing like MailChimp, SurveyMonkey. And let's go to our next one. You can probably hear me. I'm looking at this, oh, looking at this on my paper. And then we have Trello, Project Management, Zoho, uh, the free access to office and productivity tools. That's totally free. Uh, then we have Zoom, uh, look at a couple others, DocuSign, uh, Freshdesk, and HubSpot. HubSpot's kind of a cool product. It's discounted. And then there's another one here that um, might be kind of cool, which is LastPass for nonprofits. Um, if you're trying to uh, have your um, password management taken care of, well, it's discounted. Um, QuickBooks has a nonprofit price. Uh, Twilio, uh, which is used for uh, APIs, if you're into that, something good with AI. Uh, Udemy is uh, online training, free access to thousands of courses. Uh, WordPress, Zendesk, TeamViewer, Autodesk. Autodesk, we all know that can be pretty, uh, ex very expensive. So that's cool that they have a, a product that's free as well. So. Um, just wanted to uh, end on that and say that, yeah, you know, if you're a, a nonprofit that's starting up, uh, you should be aware of this. Uh, you should uh, think about it. If you're also a nonprofit right now that's paying for products, you should switch it all over. And you might say, oh, you know, that's a bit of a hassle. Um, it is probably, uh, it's probably going to take a few steps. Um, if you'd like to do it directly, uh, you can probably get it done. Probably won't be as hard as you think. Um, if you need help getting that transition done, like moving big things like your Microsoft 365 tenant or Google Workspace, then uh, you can get someone like me involved. Uh, I can do it quite efficiently. I have uh, people that I work with that make the whole process easy uh, for you. You just, you just basically have to register maybe jump through a hoop or two, and then we can uh, get all this benefit to you. And that way you can do the good work. And ultimately at the end of the day, that's why there's this cost saving. So I don't see any comments, but I just hope this is useful to you. As I said, I'm going to put uh, this information, that long list uh, in the comments or in the description of the video. And uh, I'll put in the other links I looked at. So I hope you have a good day and I hope you're find a way to save money and find this useful. <laughs> so take care.